Hey, hey, my fellow Ab Geeks, welcome to Andrew's Aviation. Today, I'm back in Raleigh, North Carolina, excited to bring you guys another trip report on Delta Airlines. We'll be flying from Raleigh, Durham, down to Atlanta, Georgia, on one of Delta's brand new A321s in economy class. The A321 on this route today will feature Delta's new cabin interior, seats, and in-flight entertainment systems, and I can't wait to check them all out. So, let's jump right in and see what we got. So this trip started off pretty good. I got to the airport early, had a decent meal at one of the best airport restaurants in the country, and then the fire alarm went off. May I have your attention, please? May I have your attention, please? All right, apparently there's a fire somewhere, so now everybody gotta go. Fortunately, a few minutes later, the staff came back and pretty much said, hey guys, sorry about that false alarm. Everybody go back to being normal, non-panicky humans now. Well, I mean, okay, I'll have to walk back through check-in and security to catch my flight boarding in 10 minutes, but it's cool. When I got back to the desk, I went to the gate agent for a seat assignment, cause that's how basic economy works, and I got seat 38F, the last window seat in the last row of the plane. Even though I still got a good seat, it was weird to think that I almost got bamboozled by a fire alarm and didn't end up with a middle seat between two strangers. Operating flight 2034 to Atlanta today will be November 376 Delta November, a 3 month old A321-200 powered by two CFM56 engines. The A321-200 comes with two engine options, the V2500 and the CFM56, which Delta operates. This engine is actually the same engine that powers the Boeing 737 NGs, but without the signature hamster pouch intake inlets. Love that name by the way. Delta seemed to know what they were talking about with that new fresh cabin. Once we stepped on board, the mood lights were set, the misty AC was flowing, and the plane still had its fresh new plane smell. Best of all, only a few extra carry-on bags had to be gate checked before we set off. Doors four on each side, four doors have detachable slides. That Now that we're airborne and cruising, we've got an hour and 35 minutes to check everything out, so I'll start with the seat. These brand new seats feature the same kind of tray tables, fabric materials, power outlets, and seat back pocket amenities that you'll find on just about any flight, but just in a sort of factory fresh condition, so I won't go into detail on those. I will, however, tell you about the seat dimensions, which measure 18 inches of width and 31 inches of pitch, with about 5 inches of recline. Obviously not enough to straighten your legs or lie down flat, but just enough to keep you comfortable for up to 5 hours. But the key part in all this is the updated IFE screens. The new screens are much more responsive and process commands faster than the old ones, which means I can quickly raise my IQ level by 200 points by watching Adam Ruins Everything before the end of the flight. There's also the option to stream entertainment on your personal device, but I think using the built-in seat screen is much better, because you can play games on it! My favorite part about these games isn't only the content provided, but also the ability to challenge other passengers to a poker, scrabble, or chess match. At any point in the flight, I could be sitting in my seat, minding my own business, and then be like, Hey you in 16A, wanna challenge me to a blackjack deathmatch? And then they'll say yes, and we'll play until I lose all my in-game currency and eat some delicious Delta cookies and soda to get over it. Another great thing about the A321 is the abundance and placement of the lavatories. Since there's 3 out of 4 lavatories accessible to economy passengers, everyone doesn't have to line up in one spot and block the aisle all the way up to the flight deck. I also had a chance to speak with the crew for a short moment, and we talked about what it's like to be a flight attendant. A couple of them told me that they just came off the MD-88 and how other crews and passengers prefer the A321 replacement. The A321 along the 737-900ER are also replacing Delta's aging fleet of 757-200s. As time progresses, they'll cover longer flights cross-country and have even started flying to Hawaii. Delta isn't retiring the 757 too quickly at the time of this video, but they are slowly being phased out and sent to storage. The crew can also see how Delta's new A321s and 737 NGs might size up against the old MD-88s, with their larger updated cabin and better fuel efficiencies but it'll still be sad for all of us to see the old bird go. Or, well, I certainly will be. R.I.P. American MD-80. But then, mid-conversation, the captain announced our final descent into Atlanta. Okay. 
So as you guys can see, I was pretty impressed by Delta's new A321 and its cabin product. It certainly made this short hop much more enjoyable than it already was. But that's just me. I want to know what you guys think of the new aircraft. Feel free to share your experiences down below in the comments. And if you enjoyed the video, feel free to give it a like and subscribe to Andrews Aviation. Well, that's it for me. I'm off to catch my next flight to Chicago on Delta's old MD-88, which I will cover next time. And, as always, have a wonderful day everyone!